Hi, everybody. My name is Tina Jaya. I am a student with the doctoral program at the University of St. Augustine, and I'm so excited to bring to you a, an amazing physical therapist, a woman who is a trailblazer and is making a difference not only as a physical therapist, but as a wellness um, guru. Her name is Dr. Stella Nemuseso. I'm excited to introduce you to her and I'm so thankful that she has made the time and consented to be part of my podcast, which is part of my student assignment. And this information I'm going to share with my professor and my colleagues in the Contemporary Wellness Trends class. So, Dr. Stella Nemuseso is a doctor of physical therapy. She's a founder of Dynamic Wellness Services and is doing business as Dynamic Lifestyle Institute. She wears a lot of hats and has just moved aggressively in the forefront of wellness. Our discussion is just going to highlight how someone in physical therapy can make such an impact in fitness and wellness. And I am excited to hear what Dr. Nemuseso has to share and what she says her journey has been like. So welcome, Dr. Nemuseso. Thank you. It's such an honor to be part of this wonderful experience of sharing with others uh, the contemporary wellness trends. Thank you. So you are a physical therapist and have been for many years. I know it's been, as you shared, more than 20 years. Thank you for your contribution in the health of so many individuals. Can you tell me a little bit about what made you move from just practicing as a physical therapist and focusing on disease management to moving into wellness? And also tell me a little bit about why you made this transition. Thank you. Yes, uh, physical therapists are experts in health and wellness. Uh, our training includes disease management, prevention, as well as health and wellness uh, strategies to impact patients throughout the lifespan. So my experience as a physical therapist in practice of several settings made me more aware of the need to thread health and wellness throughout the lifespan. A good example I can tell you is I can see a six-year-old with a sprained ankle playing from playing flag football and the same client comes back to physical therapy as a teenager with a knee problem and the same client comes back to physical therapy with a back problem perhaps is a workers' comp case working for UPS, and eventually the same patient can come to me at the age of 65, is an above knee amputation, having lost their leg due to diabetes. It is these observations which led me to realize that prevention is so much needed throughout the lifespan in order to prevent complications which are associated with chronic diseases, which are also known as preventable diseases. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So when you uh, established Dynamic Wellness and Therapy Services and also established Dynamic Lifestyle Institute, um, what are they all about? Can you give us a brief synopsis about these two programs and how they came about? Dynamic Therapy and Wellness Services was born in 2004 based on the need of patients who were willing to make a change in their lifestyles in order to manage their chronic diseases better. Mainly patients with obesity or pre-diabetes, which is a big problem in the US. As you know, 34 million adults 18 and over in the US have diabetes. And that's just the tip of an iceberg. 88 million to 96 million adults have prediabetes. 
So seeing these numbers prompted me to think what else, what else could be done to treat the whole patient? Looking at lifestyles is the only solution. Therefore, Dynamic Therapy and Wellness Services not only delivers care to patients, but we also train the trainer. We train lifestyle coaches who are implementing the national, the CDC National Diabetes Prevention Program in several settings. So the Institute is well positioned to deliver those services. This is a great need, especially in faith-based communities where parishioners normally turn to their churches for solutions. Oh, Therefore, the need is to train the trainer. That's that's such an amazing focus. Not only are you looking at their wellness as the physical wellness, but you are also using the faith-based institute to, to strengthen this lifestyle and wellness change. Do you have a, a success story you could share with us? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Several success stories. What comes to mind at this point is a young lady who was working a desk job. She had tried every single diet in the world, probably at least 13, she could name all of them. And she had observed that every time she tries, something happens, she goes back again. This young lady came in our program, which is a year long program covered 100% by, their ins by her insurance company through the Medicare Diabetes Prevention Program or National Diabetes Prevention Program. A year later, she was able to achieve her goals and lost 31 pounds, which allowed her to live a life free from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and the risk of diabetes, cutting a risk of developing diabetes in half. This young lady is a success story and based on the fact that health and wellness is behavioral change. So in our practice, we utilize strategies which empower the patient to achieve lasting results. Awesome. Thank you so much for that success story. But I was also curious to know, are there any challenges that you've met while in this program, either at the beginning or during this phase you are in your programs? From the provider side is trying to make physicians understand that they can refer patients for weight loss. Okay. From a client perspective, is trying to make the client realize that their insurance can pay for a weight loss program. That is such valuable information because I do not think many people know about this. And I'm excited to know that there are practitioners like you who are thinking outside the box and not sticking to the traditional lane. And I cannot wait to see what comes in the future in your program. Again, thank you for joining me, Dr. Stella Nemuseso of Dynamic Therapy and Wellness Services, who is also moving into doing many things through her Dynamic Lifestyle Institution. Thank you for your time. And I can't wait to have you on our podcast some one day soon. Thank you. Most welcome, it's such an honor as we continue to operate outside the box because I don't think there is a box. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.